previous President Donald Trump is confronting a criminal examination concerning whether he disregarded the Espionage Act, and CNN legitimate investigator Elliot Williams contended on Wednesday that Trump and his lawyers face openness to a large number of likely charges. During a conversation about last week's FBI search of Mar-a-Lago that recuperated highly classified government records, have John Berman cited finally from a New York Times report that portrayed in the background activities that hinted at the choice to execute a court order. Allow me to peruse one more statement from Maggie Haberman's revealing that managing observation film and the way that they were frightened with what they saw. Berman said, by then no less than one Trump legal counselor marked a proclamation expressing material with the grouped markings had been returned. As per four individuals acquainted with the report, however authorities utilized a summon to get reconnaissance film of the lobby outside an extra space at Mar-a-Lago and saw something that frightened them. They likewise got data from somewhere around one observer who demonstrated that more material could stay at the home. Williams answered by communicating wonder. Goodness my ruler, he shouted. It resembles a graduate school test question where you need to count the violations as a whole. I'm serious as a heart attack here. Number one. Marking that report might itself at any point be a wrongdoing since it's a bogus assertion to the public authority. Number two. Not following the summon, it's an offense yet at the same time a wrongdoing. Number three. How the situation is playing out are possibly violations or if nothing else gross maltreatments and judgment occurring on camera. In the meantime, the FBI strike on Mar-a-Lago last Monday was explicitly expected to recuperate Donald Trump's own stash of stowed-away reports. Two significant level U.S. Knowledge authorities tell Newsweek to legitimize the uncommon strike on a previous president's home and safeguard the source who uncovered the presence of Trump's confidential crowd. Specialists went into Trump's home on the guise that they were looking for all administration records, says one authority who has been engaged with the examination. In any case, the genuine objective was this private reserve, which Justice Department authorities dreaded Donald Trump could weaponize. They gathered all that legitimately had a place with the U.S. Government, however, the genuine objective was these records that Trump had been gathering since right off the bat in his organization, says the source, who was conceded obscurity to talk about delicate issues. The pursued reports manage an assortment of knowledge matters important to the previous president. The authorities propose, including material that Trump obviously thought would excuse him of any cases of Russian plot in 2016 or some other political decision-related charge, at the point when Trump went out in January 2021. A significant number of the typical cycles of progress were not followed, particularly in light of the fact that the president wouldn't concede that he had lost the political decision or that he would leave office. Thus, we currently know exactly 27 boxes of records were delivered to Mar-a-Lago unintentionally. Authorities' papers under U.S. regulation, which the National Archives should accept guardianship of enlist, throughout the course of recent months. The Trump camp and the archives were taken part in an ever-changing which brought about the arrival of 15 boxes, as late as June 3, when authorities from the FBI and Justice visited Mar-a-Lago to serve a grand jury summon for explicit reports. These dealings were generally friendly. 